I thought I would take a minute and go through the workflow that I use with Skyloom Software's Luminar 4. It's a product that I use to bring the most out of any image that I'm working on. Uh, one like this image here that I shot on a uh, recent trip up to Mackinac Island of a uh, lighthouse that's in the harbor area. It's a, uh, a nice picture, but it's, it's lacking. There is room for improvement. Uh, so I'm going to load it into Luminar and uh, work on it and bring it back and we'll see uh, what it looks like. I will duplicate the uh, image by pressing Control J and we will work with the uh, the new image and we'll leave the old one uh, for comparison when we come back. Now Luminar can operate either as a uh, <clears throat> standalone application or as a uh, plug-in within Photoshop and that's how I'm using it here. You would think you go to plugins and launch it from there. No, that's not how it works. It's actually in the uh, filter drop down and I go to uh, Skyloom software and there's Luminar 4. So we'll launch it from there and it'll take it just a, uh, a bit to load and move the image over. So we'll give it time to do that. Okay, so we have our image in Luminar and the first thing I want to do is work on the sky. It, it was kind of an overcast day and the sky is, is somewhat lackluster. So I want to do a sky replacement on that. That particular filter is located within the creative tab. So we'll go to that tab and sky replacement is right here at the top. I can select, I've uh, already determined I want to use dramatic sunset number one for this image. So we'll load that and it replaces the uh, sky. And we can go to the advanced settings and drop down and we can check with our sliders to see if there are any changes we have to make. Uh, closing gaps in the image or uh, working on uh, any adjustments that, that we want to, to make. I actually want to move the sky exposure down because I think it's a bit bright for the mood that I'm trying to get in this image. So we'll, we'll pull that down just a bit. And I'll move the temperature over because I, I want a little bit more saturation in the image. Get those oranges and just a touch of the reds coming in. So We'll try a little bit of relighting of the scene just to see what impact that has on, on the overall image. And I'm pretty happy with it right here. So we'll go over to apply the image and send it back over into Photoshop. And that should take a minute or two to get it back over. Doing a lot of work in the background and your computer is probably faster than mine. That's just how it works. All right, so here's our image in Photoshop and it'll load that image in. And quite a difference from what we started with. If we turn off our Luminar improved image, this is what we started with. And here's what we have now. So that's just a, uh, a quick look at what you can do within Luminar 4 to improve a photograph that is okay, but it's probably not anything you would uh, consider really fantastic. I think this shot is a whole lot better. I am concerned about conveying an impression with an image. I'm not a photorealist uh, as far as I'm concerned. I want the image to look the way I think it looks best and I can achieve that using Luminar 4. So we'll leave it there and uh, check back often and see when I get something else posted. Thanks a lot and have a great day.